What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I am glad to announce part 12 of my office building in Revit course. So this is the course where I show you from basically the beginning stage from just a concept, just an idea to production of complete project documentation for a project completely within Revit and the uh, the project that we're doing is a multi-story office building. So I show you everything in Revit from start to finish and in this course part 12, that means 12th hour, uh, this is the last part and uh, in this last part I show you one of the most important parts of any project documentation and that's all of the schedules. So what I do in this course, I go basically through all of the schedules uh, or some of the schedules that are necessary for a building like this but not, I not only show you how to create uh, particularly the schedules for uh, for these uh, things that we need to schedule for this project but I also go in depth through all of the tools and features that Revit offers for schedules and how to use those uh, in the most appropriate way so you can uh, produce uh, all project documentation uh, most accurately especially with schedules it's really important to be extremely accurate and document everything extremely accurately so I show you all of that for a project like this and all of the little tips and tricks that allow you to do everything uh, just a little bit quicker and make it look just a little bit nicer. So that's what we're doing in this course. Now if you want to get access to all 12 parts as well as all of my other project files I have or uh, project files and courses I have over 40 hours of content on my Patreon. First link in the description of this video. There I have a little bit of a better format for the complex Revit topics where I show you how to do complete projects from start to finish and some more advanced topics uh, just the whole format of having one hour to explain some of these things uh, are, are is really good so I just take the time and in depth I go through all of the elements for such a project okay so with that out of the way let's get into Revit and let me show you what everything looks like so here we are in Revit and this is just a 3D image of the building. Now let's get straight into the schedules. So the first schedule is the room schedule. This is what that looks like. Now for the room schedule, uh, it, it's really easy to create a room schedule, but for a complex building like this that has oops, that has multiple stories and it has uh, even an underground level, things like that. It's a bit tricky to place all of the rooms, categorize them in a correct way and add all of those parameters to the actual room tags and uh, the actual rooms itself, uh, themselves uh, for the model. Now, once I show you how to do that, then I get into creating a schedule. Now, for this schedule, this is a schedule that your investor or client will love you for just because it's categorized categorized in a perfect way. So here, for example, we have the underground level and then we have all of the common areas for that are located in the underground level. So we have the restroom, the stair, and then we have some storage. Then we have the ground level and all of the common uh, rooms for that ground level. And then there we have the lobby, uh, the, the restroom, and also a stair. Now, same thing goes for the first and the second floor. So we have all of the common areas, but they're categorized into all of the floors that we have. Now also here we have all of the areas and all of the parameters of those rooms and here we have the common, uh, for all of our common spaces, here we have the total area of those and here uh, as you can see we have uh, 10 in total. Moving on, then we have all of the office space and again it's categorized by levels. So we have some on the first level, some on the second level and again here we have a total of 642 square meters of, uh, of our office space. And over here we have some store space, we have uh, a couple of underground rooms and then one uh, big uh, store area uh, on top. And now totaling in, as far as the store or retail area we have 348 square meters, uh, giving us a total for the whole building of around 1300 uh, square meters. Now, what's really good about this schedule, as you can see, now your investor, for example, or the owner of the building knows that they can rent out this much office space. So it makes all of the calculations as far as does the building make sense? Will it pay itself off? Uh, so uh, you can make all of those calculations and it's really easy to see everything. So that's really cool about this schedule. One more thing for this schedule, I show you how to make everything look nice. So as you can see, all of the fonts, all of the colors, everything looks nice. And here when we place it, uh, let's see, uh, 
Okay, here, once we place this on a sheet of paper, it looks like this. So we have different uh, uh, different fonts, different colors. We have different uh, line weights here for the outer line and then for the in inner lines. So everything looks uh, nice and clear and it can be read really easily. Uh, moving on, I improve on this room schedule to give you something that looks like this. Now, this is a room schedule with a furniture schedule. So, I show you how to add additional categories to your schedules. Uh, now, uh, people always ask me how I add multiple categories. I don't want to schedule only rooms. Maybe you want to schedule the rooms and then all of the furniture that is located in those rooms. So, here, for example, we have the lobby and then here are all of the families that we have for the lobby, as you can see uh, from this one if I expand it a little bit for the lobby we have a little desk chair then we have a, a, a core boost sofa we have a couple of those and then we have a, a modular uh, modular desk uh, or a reception desk so for each room you have here a list of all of the furniture that's located in that room which is of course really useful moving on uh, then we have this is a regular room schedule. Then we have the panel schedule. So for our curtain system, uh, because as you can see, this uh, building is pretty much one giant uh, curtain system. So it's really difficult to uh, categorize all of this stuff. So that's what I show you here. First, we have a panel schedule. Now for the panel schedule, I not only show you how to well, basically categorized everything in such a way that you have uh, everything laid out really nice so you can basically send it to whomever is responsible for producing and cutting these uh, panels down to a correct size. But also here we have all of the necessary information like the finish of each panel. Some of those are transparent, some of those are mirrored. Then we have the special panels like the system panel uh, and the revolving door. Then we have all of the dimensions for each panel and here I've created a new category. This category didn't exist. And th this is or a new uh, column. And now this column combines these two parameters. So sometimes maybe for your manufacturer, they have to have uh, for the, their CNC machine, they want to have this format or maybe a similar f format uh, for the dimensions. I show you how to basically combine these two columns into one uh, with a specific format and how to customize that format. So that's what I show you for this column over here. Moving on, we have the graphical column schedule. So uh, this is really cool. It shows you all of the columns. So here, this is a concrete square column. And these are the intersection. Oh, these are the two grids that intersect in a place where this column is placed. And here we have all of the levels. So if you need something like this, I show you how to create it. Also, we have a, uh, this is the, uh, okay, this is the panel schedule, and we have the mullion schedule. And now for the mullion schedule, I show you how to create a cost parameter, but also then how to calculate the total cost, just because each piece of the mullion is at a different uh, length. Here we have the length of each one, and then here I basically calculate the length by price, and then divide everything up correctly, and then here we have the correct price of each of these pieces. Now you can send this directly to your CNC machine and you can basically uh, cut all of these down to size and then bring them to use on the building. And here we have the calculation of how much all of the mullions for this type of a building would cost. So that's a really cool. Okay, so that's what I show you how to do, how to set all of these uh, schedules up, how to modify all of the parameters, and then how to export and basically have all of your necessary project information as far as schedules are concerned for a complex building uh, like this in Revit. Okay, so that uh, concludes this little presentation of uh, this week's course. If you want to check it out, again, as I said, first a link in the description takes you to my Patreon. There you can not only find the Discord, uh, the 12 hours of it, but also some of my other courses, there is additional 30 hours of content over there as well. Okay, also you can find all of the project files, like this building over here with all of these schedules. Okay, so that concludes this little presentation, and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.